God, come on through, Cookie. I want to pull my soapbox, that's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. for clicking on the video this is actually this is uh dance with the stars season 22 and this is episode three it was the most memorable year um night is what was actually going on start right off ginger and val the, the year was 2013 and it was the year that she actually met her husband good dance they got literally sevens across the board um Next was Doug Flutie and Karina. The year was 2015. It was actually the year that his dad actually passed away. And um, it was horrible. It was his dad and his mom. His dad passed away. And his mom, literally, um, when the dad passed, she literally had leaned down to uh, kiss the dad and then literally fell forward. And she passed away as well. And they actually had said that she died of a broken heart it was it, that was really a bit much but he had a really good dance and it was um seven six seven was the score Andre Day actually sang during the um the number as well it was a beautiful number but that was really that was something else um next we had Kim Fields and Sasha 1976 was the year um it was the year she booked her first a gig, which was her Miss Butterworth commercial. She's seven years old. Mrs. Garrett was actually there this week, um, and she's funny. She still looked the same. You know, she looked old, like back when I was young. Miss Garrett's ass looked old. She still looked old. Charlotte Ray, she's still kicking. Um, they actually got eight, eight, seven, and seven was their scores. And Kempfield, she said, "Let me jump." All that jumping and screaming and yelling. Anyway. Moving on. Again, she's a good good fit for this show. Much better than Real Housewives of Atlanta. Next was Vaughn Miller and Whitney. The year was 2016. And that's, you know, naturally when he won um, MVP. He got seven, six of the seven. Baby Vaughn Miller's body is everything. And we just going to leave that alone and move on. They had him shirtless. It was something good, honey. I don't even, child, the dance number was nice, too. Anyway, moving on, um, Marla Maples and Tony was next. The year was 1993. That was the, the uh, year that Tiffany was born. Her daughter, Tiffany Trump, was born. Sevens across the board. It was a good dance. You know, Marla, she, she, she dances real well. She's entertaining. Um, next was Antonio Asharna. The year was 2007. Um, that was the year that his baby boy was his oldest child, his oldest boy, was actually born. And they actually had him in the number, and he was actually dressed in the same suit as Antonio. It was really, really cute. They got a seven, a six, and a seven. Um, the little boy actually looks just like him, child. He was about booming. I said, oh, my God. He looks just like him. It was good, though. Um, Paige and Mark were next. Um, so Mark's okay. Mark's actually definitely going to be able to continue on dancing. You remember Mark had gotten hurt the week before. They did Pasta Doble, which y'all, I love Pasta Doble. Um, the year was 2014. It was her first UFC fight and she, that's, and she won as well. She got eight, seven and eight. It was really, really good. They did it in a whole, the theme was, um, inside the, the ring and they did the whole fighting UFC fighting thing which worked real well with Pasta Doble. It was good. It really was. It was good. Next was Keo and Jody. Um, 2015 was the year. Um, it was the the whole year. She literally, Jody pulled herself out of uh, addiction to drug and alcohol, drugs and alcohol. Andre Day actually sang during hers as well. You know, Andre, she's awesome. Um, but her scores were eight, seven, and eight as well. She did really, really well. I am just so happy that Keo is actually getting a fair shot at this show. Um, I like that Keo. I like Keo to watch Keo dance. Next is painful for me because I love Artem. I really do. I love Artem. Ever since he's been on the show, I love Artem. But he's with 
Misha Barton, and I can't stand her. I, I literally can't stand her. She is just like nails on a chalkboard to watch. It's just horrible. She needs to go, and, and she just is on my nerve. And when they show the packages, she is just literally, she's a bitch, and I don't even know any nicer way to say it. She's a bitch. She's mean to Artem. She's mean in general. She acts like she doesn't want to be there. Mess. But her year was 2008, and it was getting herself into a better place. I don't know what happened, but um, she claimed she got a better place. If she was nastier than what she is now, God bless her, honey. But she got sixes across the board, which was actually the best dance that she's had so far. But she still is horrible, and it is my personal uh, wish that she go on about her business. Next was Wanye and Lindsay turned it completely out. The year was 1996 when Boys to Men sang at the Atlanta Olympics, and it was right after a terrorist attack. They got eights across the board. It was fabulous. They wore all red, and they danced to, uh, and Boys to Men came in and recorded the uh, uh, national anthem, and they danced their ass off. It was really, really good. Really good. It was, it was a moment. It was one of them Dancing with the Stars moments. It was real, real good. Next was Nile and Pita. And um, the year was 2012. Now actually traveled the world without an interpreter in 2012. So that's what it was all about. Um, they got two eights and a nine. The dance was awesome. And it was so funny because PETA actually was vocal about the things that she didn't like when they said things about musicality. Remember, I had a problem with it too. Um, about the, the comments and Carrie Ann actually did explain herself and kind of apologize as well so that was good um, yeah I agreed I thought that was really a whole lot to be saying but whatever so but it was really good and then at the end of the show I got my wish and they sent Misha and Artem home and they were the next couple that was eliminated. And I'm sorry about Artem because I do love Artem. But I was really glad to see Misha Barton go home. All right. So that's it. We got it all down. Seven minutes. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. You know how that all works. And I will see you guys on the next episode. All right. Bye, guys.